Right, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have made a furnace array for you guys. So how does this work? At the top you will put the stuff you want to smelt, in my case chicken. And at the back chest you will put your fuel, in my case coal. Then all you have to do is flip this lever and it will distribute um, the items evenly. And then once it gets melted it will um, travel through these hoppers into the chest at the end and if you wait like this you will get all the stuff you want it smelted. So these are the materials needed in order to build your furnace array. I have decided to make an 8 furnace array but you can make this as big as you want. Um, so you will need 8 furnaces, 32 hoppers, 6 chests, 18 powered rails, 4 regular rails, a redstone block, um, any type of building block, in my case it's cords, um, two mine cords with a hopper in it, a lever and a sign. So let's get started. First you want to put down a, du a double chest like this. This will be the chest where all your smelted items will come into. Then you want to add an 8 block hopper line to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 like this make sure this is facing into the chest and then you want to add a hopper facing into the other hopper voila like so then you want to add your furnaces on top right here voila like so then at the back of the furnaces um, you add a hopper Make sure the hopper is facing into the furnace. So do this for all the row. Voila, like so. And then the last hopper line you will need to add is at the top of the furnace, facing into the furnace, like so. Voila, so these are the hoppers done. So, when you have done this, um, you want to add rails to your furnace array. So, at the top line of the hoppers, you want to add powered rails, like so. And then, at the bottom um, hopper line, at the end of your furnaces, you want to do the same. Voila, like so. Voila. Then at the end of your hopper line, you want to add a block on top, like here. This will prevent the minecart um, from rolling off. You want to do the same at the back side. Voila, like so. And then just at the end, you want to go four blocks long, like so, and then one block up. The same at the other side. Voila, like so. Then you want to add two regular rails, and then all the way at the end you want to add a power drill. So do the same for the other side. Oh, like so. Voila. Last thing you will need to do uh, is add your chests. Voila. Make sure um, one piece of the chest is below the power drill at the end here. Do this for the other side. Voila, like so. Then you want to add a redstone block um, in the middle, like so. So add the redstone block on top of the power rail at the end, and this will make sure to power both the rails on top of the hoppers. Voila, you want to add your hoppers, like so. And this is basically it. Right, so now that the bulk of the build is done, what you want to do is add a lever here. So right under the minecart, under the power drill. This will be the lever to activate our furnace array. Then you want to add a sign here um, that says food with an arrow pointing upwards. And then at the bottom you want to add coal. So it's very important that at the top here you want to add um, the stuff you want it to be smelted. In my case chicken. And then at the back chest, so this chest, this will be the fuel. So this is the stuff you wanted it to be smelted with. In my case, coal. 
Also, a quick notice, if you are smelting large quantities, it's better to wait until the minecart with hopper is filled up, otherwise it won't distribute evenly. So let's give it a quick test. Voila. And as you can see, all the furnaces are lit up and are smelting things. And then if you wait, you will see a large a cooked chicken. Voila. The minecart goes. Whee! Alright, this is the furnace array I made for you guys. I hope you guys liked it a lot. If you have any questions about this farm or any critique for me, you can leave it down in the comments below. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and you can like the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it a lot and maybe till next time. Goodbye. Um, the minecart will pick a villager up and then you can do with him whatever you want.